bad news comes at the moment and this village is located in the northeast of Netherlands. We're staying in the house of my partner's parents and we're spending time with them. We're out cycling in Birta and we're seeing a lot of houses here like this one at the back um, there's a house and then behind the house is a barn we're also seeing a lot of these wheat fields cycling paths are everywhere in the netherlands which make it safe to cycle around and cyclists have the right of way in the whole of netherlands look at this house it's like a doll house We're seeing different animals while we're cycling. It's cool. And also the air here smells like farm. Good morning. This morning we're leaving Bad Nuisance to go to Rotterdam and Amsterdam for a few days and now we're about to catch a train to go to the busy area of Netherlands. It's only us in this carriage. This train is quiet. We're changing trains and we're getting some drinks. It's very handy to have this travel card for taking trains in the Netherlands. A lot of these cars everywhere and there are a lot of them here and they go really fast it's so tiny. while strolling in Amsterdam we saw one of the bridge that opened so that the boats could pass by We also visited Amsterdam South and ended up in the beautiful Amstel Park for Dutch pancakes. Then we took a train to the center of Amsterdam. Amsterdam is the main city in the Netherlands. The more time we spent here, or even just walking around, the more we noticed that Amsterdam is an international city with a diverse population and culture. The center was full of tourists, including us, but it was a nice sunny day to walk around the city.
ended up in a pub and enjoyed watching people as they walk past. We're back in Rotterdam again and this time we're heading to the gym and it's really late in the morning it's like it's almost 11 a.m. and I think when we arrive here we've been getting up really early and now we're getting up later and later <laughs> Rotterdam is the second largest city in the Netherlands. Most of the city was destroyed by World War II bombs. That's why the city is modernized. Up next will be our trip to a charming town in a new country with amazing food and wine. 